<笑>いただきます Hey guys, today we are at Akihabara Station. If you are heading to the main street, go to the electric town gate. So it's downstairs. Oh, there is Gachapon Square. Let's go check. It seems like those are the new march. By the way, new march in Japanese called Shinshohin. Shinshohin. Oh my goodness, look at that. Morinaga, which is a really popular milk company in Japan, collab with Disney. That's so cute. <laughs> If you are the Disney fan, here we go. Look at that. That's a Japanese snack stuff. s There is mochi, castella, rice cracker, and tea. <laughs> Very interesting. By the way, in JR Akihabara Station, there are plenty of coin lockers. However, seems like most of them are already used. This red one is already used. There are still many availability in old ones. However, new coin lockers, most of them, it's already used. The new one, you don't have to bring the key. Also, you can use the cashless pay. So it's much convenient. That's why. Speaking of the price, this much size, 400 Japanese yen. And this huge size, 700 Japanese yen. Anyways, let's keep walking. Here, too, there are plenty of coin lockers. But seems like it's all used though. Today, it's the weekday. So, probably if you visit here in the weekday, it would be better. We arrive to the electric town gate. Let's keep walking. If you are heading to the iconic place of Akihabara, use the south exit. <laughs> Sweet. It's a little bit cloudy, but what a beautiful day. Today it's 15 degrees, however, 8 meter per second wind, so it's kind of a windy day. In this video, I'm planning to visit Akihabara, Ueno, and Asakusa. Hopefully, You can see the Japan travel situation through this video and also the atmosphere of the town. <laughs> It's one of the iconic buildings, Tsukumo building. It was closed during the pandemic, but now it's open as a soft map. You can just keep straight, then you will arrive to the main street. Oh, what happened to this building? Seems like now it's closed. I'm wondering what we will have here. If you keep straight, turn right, then it's the main street of Akihabara. Here we go, this is the main street. Oh my goodness, seems like it's super crowded. Japan travel tip today it's Saturday, so because of that, there are so many people on the street. However, if you visit here on Sunday, this street will be the pedestrian zone, which is the Hokousha Tenboku. It will be more fun and less crowded. So, if you are visiting Akihabara on the weekend, I recommend you to visit on Sunday. Oh, by the way, hey guys, welcome back to Ryan's TV. I'm Ryan s e n o k a l Alright, so let's keep walking. Oh my goodness, look at the crowd. It moves so fast today. Yep, it's windy. As you can see, people's clothes have totally changed. Yep, recently it gets much cooler. So if you are visiting Japan now, make sure to bring the light jacket. If you are visiting here during December, you need a heavy jacket too. It's one of the most popular electric appliance store called Big Camera. Seems like now they have the Black Friday sale 20% off. But with the point though, Still, Thanksgiving is not popular in Japan, but recently Black Friday getting popular here too. Oh, look at that! What do we have there? Seems like they have the figure festival of anime. No waiting time, so why not? Let's go check inside. <laughs> look at that! Nice atmosphere. So that's anime zone. Oh, that's Gear 5th Rufi. And also, yep, the Kaido. Oh, there's Spy Family. 
<laughs> so cute. Oh, that's Detective Conan. Oh, actually, they are selling the Pla model. 6,600 Japanese yen. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's Sailor Moon. 30th anniversary. And that's Chainsaw Man. This figure, 9,350 Japanese yen. Yeah. This one makes sense, though. Oh my goodness, that's coming right in place. Super crowded. And here, it's the Ultraman. That's a big figure. That's like a mannequin. Oh, that's Naruto. Nice. Oh, that's Legend of Zelda. It's Master Sword. Oh my goodness, the lighting and the smoke, really cool. Yeah, it, that looks like a real one. Oh, there's downstairs too. Oh, for the safety reason, the escalator has stopped. Wondering what we have here. Let's keep walking. Wow, that's like a theme park. Seems like for the downstairs, that's a Saint Seiya. Oh my goodness, that's so cool. Never watched a Saint Seiya before, but seems like it's a really cool anime. Oh, interesting. That's a Pura model in 1980s. Wow, I can feel the history. Look at that one. Very interesting. What else we have? Oh my goodness. It's huge and so cool. Nice. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's shiny. Whoever wears this must be the strongest guy in the anime, I believe. <laughs> it's so detailed. Nice. <laughs> and I get the small souvenir. All right, let's keep walking. Akihabara is my favorite spot for gachapon too. There are just so many gachapon. <laughs> Look at that, it's a Godzilla head gachapon. <laughs> <laughs> really green onion back. What else we have? That street super crowded. This place much better. Oh my goodness, what is this? The street fighter figure. But the eyes are different place. That super cabo. The Honda's really popular 50cc motorbike. My very first motorbike was little cabo, the yellow one. If this was little cabo's one, I would buy it though. When I was 16, I visited Kyushu from Osaka with little cab 50cc. Yes, it took three days, but really fun. There are just so many memories of it, so that's why. If it was a little cab, I would try. Let's visit my favorite spot in Akihabara. Oh, very interesting. Now, Magic the Gathering, which is a really popular card game, collab with Jurassic Park. Wow. What do we have inside the bus? Let's go check. All right, sweet. What do we have inside? Oh, sweet. Inside, there is a photo spot. I don't know. <laughs> so there is a stuff that helps you to take a photo. So we can take photo here. Nice. Go. I don't I don't Sweet. If you visit Akihabara on the weekend, usually there are more events, so it's more fun. So I recommend you to visit Akihabara on the weekend if you are planning to visit here. Let's visit my favorite spot too. It's in UDX building. Oh, here too. They have the, the anime fest. Seems like this place is <laughs> the robot one, hello? So it's Gundam one, huh? <laughs> so we got the sticker. Gundam here. <laughs> a little bit small though compared to Odaiba one. Oh, I like this guy. Looks cooler than other Gundams. Oh, that's the robot version of Mickey Mouse. Nice. And I got another postcard. Is this the same one? My favorite spot is behind the UDX building. Even Akihabara is super crowded, usually displays less people. 
Yep, even today there are empty seats too. Here, it's more quiet and also you can see many trains, sometimes Shinkansen too. It's really fun place to take a break. There are more seats here, so it's a hidden spot. All right, now let's walk to the Ueno station. For Ueno Ameyoko Street, it's only one station away. So for me, it's walking distance. You just need to keep straight here. Let's time how long it will take by walking. You see in front of you, that's already Ueno Park. When you see Matsuzakaya, just turn right it. Oh, that window! There used to be a panda there. But uh, seems like no more, huh? Oh, interesting. Here, they have the street food market. Oh, it's big Fuji apple. Two for 300 Japanese yen. That's a good deal. That huge radish, 170 Japanese yen. And there are cucumbers too. Oh, seems like there are some events. Let's go check. So that's the Ameyoko entrance. Until here, it takes 12 minutes. But on the way, I met the viewer and took like 3 minutes. Take a photo together too. So probably it took like 3 minutes. So if you just keep straightly walk to here, I believe it's less than 10 minutes. Anyways, let's see what they have here. Seems like there are many food matsuri sold. Smells pretty good. <laughs> That's drone. Also mochi and karaage takoyaki. All right, now let's go to check the Ameyoko Street. Last time when I visited the Ameyoko Street, somehow it was less people. I'm wondering how it looks like now. Oh, seems like super crowded. Even though it's already not the lunch time though. There is a long line in front of that takoyaki store too. Oh my goodness, compared to September, can't compare. Yep. It was really fewer people, but now it's very work. Oh, look at this Kit Kat. It's strawberry cheesecake taste. Interesting. Must be good. Yep. It's time for the heat pack is coming. 10 for 482 Japanese yen. You can always find it in the convenience store too. And the price is not that expensive. So if you are visiting during winter season, definitely I recommend to use the heat pack. Well, I was thinking to eat in the Ameyoko Street, but it seems like it's not a good idea, huh? It's a bit crowded. Maybe if we go to the back street, it would be better? Uh, no, sure. Wow. Oh, interesting. There are new duck place. Is that the Beijing duck? I guess it's some popular restaurant from China. Here, speaking of the restaurant, it's more like South Asian country's atmosphere. Whenever I came here, I feel like I'm not in Japan now. Next to the Ameyoko Street, there is a Uechun Street. Compared to Ameyoko Street, this Uechun Street more like shopping for fashion. So there are many stores, which is not the food one. But this place too. Seems like it's super crowded though. Never tried those stores, but probably much cheaper compared to other clothes place, I guess. This corner too. Many clothes shop. Oh, look at this Italian restaurant. Seems like not that many people and also they have the steak lunch menu. 1000 Japanese yen. Sounds like a good deal. Why not? Let's try here. All right, let's sit down here. Well, unfortunately, the lunch time is over, so it seems like I have to order from here. That's okay. Let's try something from here. So here, the pizza is 500 Japanese yen. Also, they have the steak, chicken. Those are the 1,500 Japanese yen. Pasta as well. Well, interesting. There is a white baked pizza. 
Never tried it before. Why not? Let's try this. I think that's not enough. So let me try something else too. Let's try this salsa and the mushroom too. That sounds great. Those are the drink menu. I want to drink something special. Okay. This time, let's try sangria. Here we go. Oh my goodness, that was really quick. Anyway, so I got the drink too. Kapai. Oh. It's sweet and a nice fruits flavor. I don't feel the alcohol much though. Oh, by the way, here. Those are the snack that I haven't ordered, but I got it. Those are called okoshi. Usually in Japanese restaurant, if you enter inside, there's no table charge. However, there is the otoshi. It's like a table charge. For example, here, so let me see. Uh, it costs 350 Japanese yen. So this restaurant's table charge is like 350 Japanese yen. Some restaurant has no otoshi. So if you are going to the, you know, the cheap izakaya restaurant, make sure to check if they have the otoshi or not. Otherwise, you feel like you saved money, but uh, after that, it become a little bit expensive. But usually, it costs like only 300 to 500 Japanese yen, which is not that expensive, so don't worry, have to wait much. Yeah. <laughs> and look at that! <laughs> you know, it's 500 Japanese yen, so I was expecting the smaller pizza. However, <laughs> yeah, it is huge. <laughs> really, 500 Japanese yen. Nice. Let me see. It's my first time to try the white bait pizza. Must be good. <laughs> Itadakimasu. Oh, yeah. Nice flavor of fish, but just with tomato sauce. Love it. And also, I got a Asian. There is sausage and the mushroom inside. Mm. Let's show it. Psycho. You know, I always eat the Japanese food, right? So sometimes Italian food, it's good too. <laughs> Italiano! <laughs> I'm just wondering, is white baked pizza is it popular in Italia too? Well, I'm not sure if it's proper way to eat or not, but uh, I like the pizza dip into the Asia. Hmm. So speaking of the otoshi, I think that's a really practical system because the restaurant need to take the table charge, right? Otherwise, you know, they, they need to make a living by that but uh, just charging for the table it sounds like impolite so that's why they have the otoshi getting something little snack better than getting nothing right mm. well one thing you have to be careful is that uh, usually this kind of a restaurant you can find it on the street uh, then you will have no problem with otoshi however if you go to like shibuya or like you know shinjuku and uh, there are many tout try to find you the customers. That kind of place is some places called otakuri. That means you know ripped off. That kind of places you have to be careful. But uh, usually that kind of places you can sense it. So if you find a tout on the street, probably you'd better stay away. Yeah, I think that would be better. But maybe you're wondering. Because there is a many towns in Ueno too. So this is the easiest way to find out. Firstly, you can ask if there is a otoshi or a table church. And then secondly, if you can find it super easily from the street, for example, this restaurant on the street, right? Those kind of restaurants basically have no problem. Not 100% sure, but uh, most of the time, yeah, at least me never had problem. So even me entering the restaurant, I wouldn't ask about the otoshi. Yeah, I can just expect, you know, several hundred Japanese yen otoshi. Hmm. Okay. 
Speaking of the Ameyoko Street, as you may realize, there are just so many people. And if you are visiting the main street, probably you can find a place to eat, or maybe you can find a place, but it's super crowded. However, once you go to the kind of back street or the Switchum Street, there are many restaurants with empty seats. So yeah, if you can find a place to eat in Ameyoko Street, then just go to the back street. There are many good restaurants too. Ooh, now I could charge energy, so let's go to the next spot. Ooh, that was pretty good. The price is 2400 Japanese yen. Yeah, thinking about the place, I think it's a good price. Sweet, it's always great waiting with you guys. Ready? Hey. 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 Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. If you see me on the street, don't forget to get to me so that I can realize who you are. So, see you in Japan. Outside, getting a little bit darker. Beautiful sky. Let's go to the Ueno Park. By the way, today's sunset time is 4.32. Right now it's 4.28. So maybe we can see the beautiful sunset from the Ueno Park. Oh my goodness, because it's windy. Little bit chilly now. In this situation, we can always get the heat pack. Here we go. 10 for 500 Japanese yen. All right, we got it. <laughs> this one came inside, but uh, you can always get the separate one at Combini 2. So I strongly recommend to use the hip pack, especially in the super cold winter in Japan. <laughs> Honda! Let's keep walking. Oh, really? Is that the sunflower? Probably not. <laughs> in Winter Park, there is a nice view spot here. We are at the main street of Ueno Park. As you can see, the tree's color hasn't changed yet. But uh, probably after two to three more weeks, the leaves color would change. Yep, that shrine. Yes, that's the view spot. Let's keep walking. Oops, <laughs> let's keep walking. This place open until 5 p.m. So it's almost closing. We can see the town's atmosphere from this pine tree. Seems like there are so many people on the street. It's a beautiful sunset. Let's go down. That's the exit of the Ueno Zoo. Usually this street, there are many food stalls on the side. There is a shrine at the end. It's a beautiful spot. So if you visit Ueno Station, don't forget to visit here too. Feels like season has changed. Now, let's go to the main square. We just came back to the main street. <laughs> and it keeps straight. I really like the Sunset Palm of Wind Park. It's beautiful. While we're walking, let me give you guys a small Japanese lesson. Nighttime street called Yomichi. Yomichi. So, it's a beautiful Yomichi. Oh, what's that? Seems like there is some event. Let's go check. Oh, by the way, that's the entrance of Ueno Zoo. Let's see. Oh, I see. Now seems like they have the sake festival here. Entrance fee costs 500 Japanese yen. There are many food stall inside. Well, we just ate and drink, so maybe next time. Now let's go back to the station and go to the last part. Yes, Asakusa. Oh my goodness, look at the moon, beautiful. Moon in Japanese called Tsuki, Tsuki. Yes, more Japan travel update and a simple Japanese lesson is coming. So if you are planning to travel to Japan in the future, please don't forget to subscribe so that you will not miss my new video and surprise live stream. Let's keep walking.
it's already 5 p.m. so that temple is already closed from Ueno to Asakusa it's not that far the easiest way to get there is the Ginza line that's the entrance of JR Ueno station but we are using the Tokyo Metro Ginza line yes that yellow one is the one we are taking Take the train from truck number two. From Ueno to Asakusa, it's only three stations away. I'm wondering how crowded in Asakusa. Seems like so many people in the station. Let's go. Oh my goodness, Asakusa station, that's super crowded too. There we go. Wow. Oh, by the way, the train was super crowded. If you are in the packed train, you can hold the backpack like this so that you don't have to bother other people. It's kind of like mana in Japan. So just remember, <laughs> you don't have to do it though. <laughs> All right, sweet. It's always great meeting with you guys. Ready? Soon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet, loving it. Well, let's keep walking. For Kaminari Mon and the Sensoji Temple, use the exit number one. That's the stairs, but there's an elevator too. Let's keep walking. From here, I can tell the Asakusa will be super crowded. You can just keep straight and you will arrive to the Kaminari Mon gate. Here we go. Oh, not that bad, huh? I thought this place would be more crowded. Let's go to the Nakamise Street. Maybe because of the time. It's much better than what I thought. As you realize, most of the places in Japan, if you walk in the crowded place, just try to walk left side. Yeah. That's how it works usually. Oh my goodness, look at those cats, that's so cute. <laughs> Fukusagi, lucky bunny. So cute too. One thing you have to be careful visiting Asakusa is, as you can see, there are some stores already closed. Compared to other places, this Nakamise Street store closed much earlier. So if you want to fully enjoy this Nakamise Street, probably you want to visit here during the daytime. However, if you don't care about the stores, nighttime more beautiful. And also, now, it's still more people, but uh, after it get late time, it becomes really fewer people too. So if you just want to enjoy the Japan walk, then probably you want to visit here in the night time. Yes, it is a beautiful spot. <laughs> to be honest, I hate coldness, but uh, I love the atmosphere of the winter town. Oh! Now it's time for Shichigo-san. Shichigo-san, direct translation meaning 753. We have a Shintoism culture that we celebrate the kids. Seven years old, five years old, and three years old at shrine. So I believe now is the time. Most of Japanese didn't think that's a religious event, but most of people do it. Since I was born and raised in the Christian family, I couldn't do the Shichigo-san, 753 years old celebration. You can get the small toy and snack at the shrine, so I was kind of jealous. However, we had kind of similar event for 753 in the church too. We could get the snack and the party for the kids. So yeah, I was okay. <laughs> I think that's kind of a unique Christian culture in Japan. Sweet! It's always great meeting with you guys! Everyone ready? Soon! Go! Go. <laughs> <laughs> Loving it! Thank you so much! Thank you. Sweet! Let's keep walking. I want to drink coffee. I was speaking of the vending machine in Japan. As you see, there is the blue one 
and the red wine. There is no English translation, however, probably you can feel it. The red wine, smetai, meaning cold, and the red wine, attakai, meaning hot. Oh, wait. <laughs> there is a sign, hot. So, yeah, you can find out. Anyways, attakai, meaning hot. So, I want to get the drink, warm wine. Here we go. <laughs> one of my favorite things to do in the winter is drinking one drink from the vending machine. <sighs> because it's cold outside, so it feels much better. <sighs> Loving it. Yeah. Oh yes, that's Tokyo Sky Tree. As you can see, yeah. it's close from Asakusa. It's about 10 minutes walking from here. So if you have energy and don't mind to walk, you can walk down here. It is really fun to walk there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about this street? That's Asakusa Menchi, one of the best Menchi cuts here. Seems like it's closed. Sweet, it's always great meeting with you guys. Ready? Soon. Go. <laughs> Love it. Thank you. Great meeting here. Yeah. Oh, I hear the sound of taiko drum. What kind of sound it is? I can hear from this way. Oh, wait, uh, that's Matsuri Front there. Let's go! Actually, they are moving really quick. Oh, there is a guy making a flute as well. <laughs> nice, loving it. Now we came back to the arcade. By the way, arcade in Japanese called Shotengai. Shotengai. So this place, Shotengai. Oh, that's Mameshiba Cafe. I've never tried that. Hope one day I can have a dog. Recently, my brother's family got the cute dog. It's so cute. But I always travel, so I don't think I can keep the dog now. Hopefully, in the future, I can have a dog. I want to have a big dog. Like a golden lit river. Or Akitainu. Now, we are heading to the riverside. This side of arcade seems like not that many people, huh? Oh, wait, probably it's right on time. <laughs> Sweet. They were too fast, but uh, I could get them over here. Right on time. It was perfect as I planned. Nah. <laughs> I was pretty lucky. Yeah. Maybe you know I should act like professional tour guide so that everything as I planned, but uh, most of the time, you know, <laughs> I walk around and uh, try to find something interesting and uh, try to share on the blog. That would be more fun. And also, I believe in that way, you feel like you are traveling with me more. <laughs> yep, so I was pretty lucky. Maybe today is my day. Thank God. Let's keep walking. So this is the end of the arcade. You can just keep straight and make a right, you get to the river side of the bridge. You will find the golden something. Yes, it's not the toilet company, it's the Asahi headquarter. In the night time, this street, it's quiet and beautiful. You can see the train, Tokyo Sky Tree, golden something. And also, bridge, Especially today, with the beautiful moon. Loving it. 
you know, somehow the train moves really slow. Maybe they are calculating the time or something. Yeah, recently it gets much cooler. Right now, it's 12 degrees. However, because of the wind, it feels much cooler though. So if you are traveling to Japan in the future, don't forget to bring the heavy jacket. Probably you might need it. Unless if you are visiting from this super cold European country, you know, I see some video that someone, you know, jump into the winter lake. Well, if you are that kind of people, you don't have to worry much now. <laughs> anyway, hope you could see the Japan travel situation and feels like virtual travel to Japan through this video. In the future video, more Japan travel update from different city is coming and also I'm planning to visit the Christmas Disneyland as well. So please look forward to it. So if you haven't, don't be shy. Please hit the subscribe button so that you will not miss my new video in the surprise live stream. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. It will really encourage me to keep shooting videos. And a big thank you to all of my Patreons. If you haven't, please don't forget to check my Patreon account as well. Alright, so see you in the next video. See you ciao. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye-bye. Oh my goodness, look at the moon. Today, it's really beautiful moon. Yeah. Already, Christmas light has started. More places will be lighted up during the Christmas season. I'm really excited to visit many places in Japan. Now more people traveling to Japan. I love meeting with you guys. Today I could meet so many of you guys as well. Also, in the street, some people are just smiling at me or waving a hand at me. Well, sorry if I didn't realize your action, but uh, if you do go to me, then for sure I can realize that you are the viewer. So if you see me on the street, don't forget to go to me. Yeah. Because I'm filming with the big cam, so for local people, I'm a totally weirdo. So sometimes I'm not sure if they know me and they're looking at me or, you know, they feel like, oh, I found this, some weird guy. <laughs> so just make sure, count to me. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. See you soon.